Hello heroes, Joe Smith here. Did you hear about this? This Parican Day Parade in Chicago, I believe it was. Chirac it has Lori Lightweight Beetlejuice calls it. There there is these good people. Really nice people, good good folks. Uh Puerto Rican descent, you know, America's unofficial fifty first state. Um but not considered a state, just a territory still. We're at this Perican Port Portil. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Joel Smith has trouble pronouncing things. Uh, Joel Smith's from Iowa. We sometimes say things really fast, like Puerto Rican. But that might not be the correct pronunciation. So, Puerto Rican Day Parade, or Puerto Rican, for those of you watching in Iowa. These people from Puerto Rico were drugged from their car, assaulted, beaten, shot. At least one of them was murdered, it sounds like, from the latest report that Joe Smith heard online. You know, really hate to say this, but... These were some really, really black-skinned white supremacists. So, it, you're right. It was, it was some black folk. Some black people. Um, you know, I'm trying to be racist. But... You know, if you don't want people to be racist and don't be running around murdering people of other races, okay, is isn't how you spread the get more people on board with Black Lives Matter? You know, Joe Smith grew up good friends, several black people, still has some friends who are black. Some greatest people Joe Smith that's ever met, black. But you know, it disgusts them, it disgusts Joe Smith to hear about instances like this where her, it was some black people, some black kids that murder these Puerto Ricans. Puerto Rican Americans. Americans from Puerto Rico. Puerto Ricans. Okay? That's not how America was founded. You know? We're all supposed to be equal, but they're saying that, well, maybe they just mix up their Puerto Rican flag with a Confederate flag. Maybe these black people thought they were like racist white supremacists with their brown skin and Puerto Rican flag. Maybe thought that Puerto Rican flag was a racist confederate flag or something, you know, because they went to a school that only taught uh, critical race theory and gender studies and didn't actually teach that. The General Lee flag is not the Confederate flag and what the Confederate flags actually were and that the Democrats were actually the Confederates. No, that's the problem with these people that don't get a proper education. So heroes, prayers to these good people from... Puerto Rico that were assaulted, injured, or lost their life for waving their home flag of Puerto Rico, which 
you know, if you're from another state, Joel Smith, even if it's not a state, even if it's territory, even if you're from another country, you become American. Joel Smith has no problem with anyone waving their home flag next to their American flag. In fact, look here, if you can see it, Joel Smith has the flag of Iowa next to the American flag. Because that's where Joel Smith is from. So, if you're from Puerto Rico and live in Chicago or somewhere else, and you want to wave the Puerto Rico flag next to the American flag, the United States of America flag, Joel Smith does not have a problem with that. If you're from Missouri, or Misery, as we call it around here, or Kansas, or Communist Fornia, or Alaska, and move to some other state and want to wave your home flag next to the American flag, Joel Smith does not have a problem with that. And if you're from another country, even China, or Russia, or Japan, or Iraq, or Iran, if you move to America, if you immigrate to America and become an American citizen, but yet you still want to wave your home flag next, next to the American flag, Joe Smith does not have a problem with that. Joe Smith does have a problem with anyone of any race or any color or any origin assaulting and murdering people over some sort of flag that they waved or because of their skin color or because of where they're from. That's what Joel Smith has a problem with. Joel Smith don't have a problem with that these people were black. Joel Smith has a problem with the crime that they committed regardless what color they were. Joe Smith has a problem that fellow Americans or people that are supposed to be fellow Americans are assaulting and murdering other fellow Americans over stupid shit like flags and skin color. That's what Joe Smith has a problem with. So hopefully, hopefully... You know, Joe Smith thinks all crimes are hate crimes, and all crimes should be treated equally. Joe Smith really hopes these people, person, people that commit this crime, get charged with a hate crime for their senseless crime against these wonderful. Puerto Rican people just for waving their flag at a Puerto Rican Day Parade. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. Joe Smith signing out.